um, Speedy Crown Colt, just like Fancy Crown. So um, Speedy Crown is still doing extremely well as a stallion. He's in upstate New York. He's got another son who has won a major race and a very, very good performance by this fine Colt. So as you take a look at Workaholic again, an outstanding run here and a race this afternoon as that is once again the Breeders' Crown winner in the run officially. As you see the way the uh, officials are, excuse me, unofficial, Workaholic, Swin Hanover, and also Ron B. Hanover in the show position. 157-1 in the Breeders' Crown Finals for the two-year-old Coach Rodgers. Well, we're going to have a conversation, of course, with the driver of the winner, with Kenny Rice and more as we'll continue with the Breeders' Crown here from Lexington in a moment. Up Wednesday night at 12:30 a.m. Eastern, 9:30 on the Pacific Coast. It's down the stretch. Our award-winning horse racing feature every week with our hostess, of course, Sharon Smith. She'll bring you not only a complete wrap-up of the Breeders' Crown Championship and also an outstanding show on Fancy Crown and Workaholic, but also we'll have a feature on a two-year-old pacer that we too will be featuring on the Breeders' Crown when the Colts will be pacing in Pittsburgh next Friday. That's Dragon's Lair on down the stretch here on ESPN Wednesday night. Well, Kenny Rice has the winners down in the winner's circle here for the Breeders' Crown in Lexington. Kenny? Thank you, Sam. A time of 57-1, and, and Workaholic has won this two-year-old trot in the Breeders' Crown Series. Congratulations, trainer Jan Johnson, bringing him into this. You were a little concerned about the second heat. How we would you do? Because he was tested in the first. Yes, uh, he, he raced out in Springfield this summer. He raced pretty good in the first heat, but the second heat, he, he wasn't the same horse. And... Uh, Last week, the same thing. Uh, he raced pretty good in the first heat, and then in the second heat, he got a little pacey. He didn't, want, he didn't stay on the trot, so he changed his shoes, put a pair of mushroom shoes on him this, afternoon, this morning, and which helps the horse because he gets a little pacey. So, and he turned out very nice this afternoon. Indeed, he did. Let's take a look now at how things are shaping up as we pick it up late in the race. And Sven Hanover getting out to the lead once again, trying to do what he did in the first heat. And also out there to challenge his bond sport. And then your horse. When did you think Workaholic should have made his move? And how are things shaping up? Is your concern? He, he, he did. He had a perfect drive. He couldn't get any better because he got out and got a perfect trip. Got out in perfect time. You know, and he was home free. You can't say enough good things about Bert Lindstedt and the way he drives. No, he's a, he's one of the best in the world. So, so I can say. John, coming into this, a lot of people said that this was a wide open thing, that there was no star in this race, but a star may come out of this race. People were familiar with Workaholic and Bond Sport, and a lot of the others ended another miracle. How did you feel about this race as far as shaping up? Did you think it was going to be a wide open affair? I, th I think so too, because you know, there hasn't been a you know, consistent good horse the whole summer because they've about beaten each other. And these horses raced today, didn't race so good last week or the week before, and today he really come through. A lot of times the good ones come to Lexington in September. They don't leave as good ones in October, but Workaholic has today. Yeah, that's for sure. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you very much. John Johnson, he is the winning trainer of Workaholic, the winner today in the Breeders' Crown two-year-old Colt Trot in a time of 57-1. and one. Sam? Thank you, Kenny. It is rather ironic we don't use the format that if an elimination winner comes on and win the race off, that would be the outright winner. But Workaholic certainly proved that after winning one of the eliminations, the second one comes on to win the race off. And there you see the payoffs with Swin Hanover along with Ron B. Hanover finishing second and third. The official time now, 157 and 1 for the first leg of our eight race Breeders' Crown for the two year old coach riders here at the Red Mile in Lexington, Kentucky. We'll continue with more of our coverage here from the Red Mile as we open up our Breeders' Crown with the first of eight races around the country. We've got more coming your way after this.